Hi, welcome back to another video. If your body feels stiff and achy in certain areas and you are getting pains and knots here and there, or your posture has over time evolved into something like this, then chances are that your body would benefit from some more mobility. In fact, most people are lacking sufficient mobility in key areas due to prolonged sitting, a sedentary lifestyle, and a general lack of movement, combined with the unhealthy positions that would put our bodies in throughout the day. These can affect not only our posture, but also our risk of injury, or our ability to perform certain daily tasks, and our overall quality of life. This is why dedicating more time to improving your mobility can be so beneficial. And this doesn't require a lot of time at all, if you focus only on the areas that actually need work, rather than wasting your time and efforts on performing mobility exercises in areas where you actually don't need. An increased mobility, in some instances, can do more harm than good. So watch till the end of this video, and I'm going to share with you the best mobility routines using this joint-by-joint -joint approach. If you like this video and find this useful, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is completely free of charge, but we'll have the channel to grow. Thank you. Most people are lacking sufficient mobility in key areas. And typically, there are four main problems areas. The shoulders, thoracic spine, hips and ankles. Therefore, what we're going to do in this video is to focus our mobilization on these specific areas. But we will first determine if you truly could benefit from more mobility training in these specific areas by running through a couple of mobility tests. So by the end of the video, you will have a personalized mobility routine based on the body areas you could use the most work. The first area we're going to cover for mobility training is the shoulder joint. The lack of mobility in the shoulder area is particularly prevalent in males. A lack of mobility in this area is common, typically due to you hunching over your computer or smartphones all day long. This common mobility deficit becomes a problem because of the compensation we then make. Not only in the gym during our lifts, but also in our daily lives, in any reaching or overhead tasks, which can then lead to pain and discomfort down the road. And to determine your shoulder mobility, simply reach one arm up and over your shoulder and your other arm up your back as far as possible. Ideally, you want those fingers to touch, but aim to at least get your top hand to reach the top of your shoulder blade and your bottom hand can reach the bottom of your shoulder blades. If your top arm fails, you are likely to miss the shoulder external rotation and abduction. If your bottom arm fails, then this indicates your lack of shoulder internal rotation and adduction. So do the test on both sides and see how you do and take notes of which shoulder has the worst mobility and accordingly use the following mobility drill to correct the imbalances. And the mobility drill I'm going to show you is pretty straightforward. Simply grab a yoga belt or towel and hold it in each hand using the test position with both hands behind your back. Then to mobilize the top arm, perform repetitions of gently pulling down on a yoga belt or towel while actively reaching downward with your top arm. Whereas to mobilize the bottom arm, perform repetitions of pulling towels up while actively reaching up with your bottom arm with each rep. Do so gently and avoid letting your shoulder round forward as you perform this drill. You will want to only do the respective arms that failed and spend more time on whichever needs more work. Next, we will move on to the mid and upper back, that is your thoracic mobility. This area often stiffens up due to excessive sitting and technology use throughout the day, and we over time lose the ability to extend our back out of this hunched posture. One of the best mobility tests for this area is to simply take a picture sideways in the mirror with your body relaxed. If your mid to upper back seems to be rounded, then you could benefit from some thoracic mobility work to reverse your hyperkyphotic posture. First, we will mobilize the area with thoracic extensions. Here, place your elbows on a bench or couch with your hands together. Sit your hips back into your heels as you drop your chest towards the floor. Hold for a few seconds and then repeat this motion for a few more repetitions. You should feel this in your mid and upper back region. Follow this up with cat cows that can either be done on the floor
or done while seated like so. Perform it slowly while focusing on rounding and extending, mainly in the mid upper back region. You can also improve your thoracic mobility by simply lying supine, placing a yoga block on your mid back. Next, we're going to move on to the hips, which tend to get tight from prolonged sitting and driving, and also tend to develop various imbalances because of all the positions that will put them in throughout the day. The hip mobility test is simple. Perform a body weight squat. If your feet turn out excessively on the way down, or your hips just seem to lock at a certain depth and you can't go below parallel, or your hips tends to shift to one side during your squat, then your hips could do with some more mobility work. Another indicator is that your hips just feel stiff in general. Well, if they do, then you will want to do the 90-90 drill. This is a great drill to mobilize pretty much all your hip muscles. To perform it, bend both legs to 90 degree like so. Then while keeping your torso stacked over your hips, simply transition from one side to another by opening up your hips. You should feel the hip external rotators of the front leg being stretched and the hip internal rotators being stretched from the back leg. You can also lean forward to deepen the stretch of the front leg and can also come up to your knees at the end position to deepen the stretch of your hip flexors in the front of your hips. Just play around with it and again, just spend more time on what feels the most restricted. At first, you may even need to support your body with your arms, but over time, just trust me, this will improve. We can also mobilize our hips using hip circles, otherwise known as car or control articular rotation. To start, balance on one leg, you can hold onto something to help with your balance. First, bring your knee across your body to the opposite hip, squeezing the legs together. From there, drive the knee up as high as possible, bringing it to the front of the body. And then maintaining this position, bring your knee out to the side of your body. Now internally rotate the hips to the end range of motion. Ensure that you're not arching your back and keeping a neutral spine. Now bring the leg back and around until the knees are touching and squeezing them together. Now externally rotate your hip and repeat the same on the other side. Lastly, we need to take a look at ankles, which is where admittedly most of the problems stem from. When our ankles lose the ability to move, it affects the rest of our body. To determine if they are problematic for you, we will use a pretty simple test. Again, we are just going to perform a bodyweight squat and see how deep you can go without rising off your heels or leaning forward excessively. Repeat this again, but this time with weight placed under each heel and see if your squat improves in terms of depth and form. If it does, then you are likely to benefit from the next ankle mobility exercise. Simply find an elevated platform like a bench, couch or even your stairs and place one foot on top of it. Then using your arm under your bench, pull yourself forward to drive your knees directly over your toe while keeping your heels planted. Hold end position for a few seconds and then repeat for a few more repetitions before switching sides. Now to end our mobility routine, we're going to do a weighted goblet squat. By holding a weight plate or dumbbell in front of you, then sit into a deep squat. Hold this position while keeping your chest up and rocking from side to side to transfer the weight and stretch one ankle at a time. This is a great way to further mobilize your entire body, including your ankles, hips and mid-back in a functional position. To see the best results, implement it daily or even two to three times a day, with about two sets per exercise. Do realize that you need to be mindful of the position you are in for the rest of the day. Make an effort to move more, as that is a very likely root cause behind your aches and tightness. Until next week, take care. Thank you for watching until the end. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please leave your comments below and share this video. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future weekly video release. Please also subscribe to this channel. This is free of charge, but will help the channel to grow. If you're interested in improving your health and fitness or losing weight, if you suffer from or wish to prevent back pain, please take a look at my book, which is now available from Amazon Worldwide. Thank you.